today I'm making my beauty tea. I make these beauty teas to help me include the vitamins and minerals that I need and I can um, drink them as a tea instead of pop them in a, as a pill so I have um, one tab in the morning and one at night. I'm going to fill these molds. I have two of these molds. These are like all one ounces. So I'm going to make two dozen of these um, melts. I call them melts because you're going to put them, I'm going to put them in the freezer and when I'll just pop one into a, a boiling water from the kettle and let it melt, dissolve, add a little sugar or honey. But in this recipe, I'm adding honey already. So if you want to add extra honey or extra sweetener of, of whatever kind is cool. So to start, I have my aloe vera mix here. Not the aloe vera mix, sorry. <laughs> my sea moss mix. This is my sea moss that I had um, soaked over overnight for a couple of days in spring water. I, um, I blended it so to this consistency to try to get it as blended out as much as possible. This is um, 12, 12 ounces. So I'm going to pour that into my container here. I've made this video before. I do enjoy these teas, especially with the, the sea moss. It's the collagen, the minerals, the vitamins alone in the sea moss is great. It helps with your skin, your bones, your overall health. So I have my sea moss here. And I add, once I add the sea moss, I add my, my black seed. This black seed um, powder, I grinded up the seeds into a powder. Then I have my black seed oil. And I'm going to mix that in together. Black seed oil is the cure oil oil. Um, black seed is helps with a lot of different. It has antibacterial properties, anti-inflammatory properties, and it is high in minerals and vitamins as as um as the seeds itself so I crush that and the oil so you have the black seed and the black seed oil now I'm gonna put this over to the side now here I have turmeric I'm gonna add that here I have um, how you pronounce this As Ashawak Ashawaga. <laughs> I have some of that here. I'm gonna Asha Ashawatada. I'm not even gonna embarrass myself any further. I have about 15 ounces. Yeah, I put 15 ounces of turmeric and ashawada. I've been seeing a lot of the um on TikTok the supplements that with the black seed and the sea moss and I'm like wait a minute I've been making that tea for a minute and I you know I like why don't this is what I've been doing for myself is really is really good I'm <clears throat> I make that as a tea like I said now this is my um my honey my honey powder I'm gonna add that in I have some distilled water. I'm going to add a little bit of this water at a time to the turmeric and um, the honey and the ashawanda. And I'm going to have my spoon here. And I'm going to make this into a little paste so that it will be easier to add to my sea moss mix I have here. To make that into a nice little, little paste, and I'm gonna put this in the freezer. Like once I get everything together, everything well mixed, I'm gonna add it to my molds. 
and then I'm gonna put them in the freezer. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna have them in the freezer overnight, so I will be able to have. I'll be able to have this in the morning. I had ran out, so I had to make some more. Take some time to make, especially with soaking the sea moss. You want to get, I want to get all of the, um, all of that sea flavor and the scent. I want to really make sure that is out of it because it's hot. It can be very distracting when you're drinking it. Okay, now I have my sea moss with my black seed and my black seed oil already in here. So now I'm going to add my mix here. Add a little bit more water. Got some more of the good stuff in there. I'm going to have to add a little bit back, a little bit more water back into the mix anyway so this will just only add to the recipe right. that's good so give that a nice stir have my stick blender so I'm going to use my stick blender to really make sure all the little clumps and lumps especially from the honey and the black seed and make sure everything is well blended the rest of my distilled water here and mix that in with my spatula. this I want to get about 24 ounces if I am shy of 24 ounces I will add more water if not then I will leave it as is I have my scale here today I'm making my beauty tea I make these beauty teas to help me include the vitamins and minerals that I need and I can um, drink them as a tea instead of pop them in the, as a pill so I have um, one tab in the morning and one at night I'm gonna fill these molds I have two of these molds these are like all one ounces so I'm going to make two dozen of these um, melts I call them melts because you're gonna put them I'm going to put them in the freezer and when I'll just pop one into a, a boiling water from the kettle and let it melt, dissolve, add a little sugar or honey. But in this recipe, I'm adding honey already. So if you want to add extra honey or extra sweetener of, of whatever kind, it's cool. So to start, I have my aloe vera mix here. Not the aloe vera mix, sorry. <laughs> my sea moss mix. This is my sea moss that I had um, soaked over overnight for a couple of days in spring water. I um, 
I blended it so to this consistency to try to get it as blended out as much as possible. This is um, 12, 12 ounces. So I'm going to pour that into my container here. I've made this video before. I do enjoy these teas, especially with the, the sea moss. It's the collagen, the minerals, the vitamins alone in the sea moss is great. It helps with your skin, your bones, your overall health. So I have my sea moss here. And I add, once I add the sea moss, I add my, my black seed. This black seed um, powder, I grinded up the seeds into a powder. Then I have my black seed oil. And I'm going to mix that in together. Black seed oil is the cure oil. oil. Um, black seed is helps with a lot of different it has antibacterial properties anti-inflammatory properties and it is high in minerals and vitamins as as um as the seeds itself so i crush that and the oil so you have the black seed and the black seed oil now i'm going to put this over to the side now here i have turmeric going to add that. Here I have, um, how do you pronounce this? As Ashawaga. <laughs> I have some of that here. I'm going to Ashawatada. I'm not going to embarrass myself any further. I have about 15 ounces. Yeah, I put 15 ounces of turmeric and Ashawaga. I've been seeing a lot of the, um, on TikTok, the supplements that they put the black seed and the sea moss. And I'm like, wait a minute, I've been making that tea for a minute. And I, you know, I'm like, why don't, this is what I've been doing for myself is really, is really good. I'm, <clears throat> I make that as a tea, like I said. Now this is my, um, my honey, my honey powder. I'm going to add that in. I have some distilled water. I'm going to add a little bit of this water at a time to the turmeric and um, the honey and the ashawaga. And I'm going to have my spoon here. And I'm going to make this into a little paste so that it will be easier to add to my CMOS mix I have here. So I'm just going to make that into a nice little, little paste. And I'm going to put this in the freezer. Like once I get everything together, everything well mixed, I'm going to add it to my molds. And then I'm going to put them in the freezer. <coughs> Excuse me. pop them in the freezer overnight so I'll be able to have I'll be able to have this in the morning I had ran out so I had to make some more take some time to make especially with soaking the sea moss you want to get I want to get all of the um, all of that sea flavor and the scent. I want to really make sure that is out of it because it's hot. it can be very distracting when you're drinking it. Okay, now I have my sea moss with my black seed and my black seed oil already in here. So now I'm going to add my mix here. Some more of the good stuff in there. I'm going to 
gonna have to add a little bit back, a little bit more water back into the mix anyway. So this will just only add to the recipe. Okay, so that's good. So give that a nice stir. have my stick blender so I'm going to use my stick blender to really make sure all the little clumps and lumps especially from the honey So, now that I have my water, I've constituted everything, blended it, all of my ingredients, my sea moss, the black seed, the black seed oil, the turmeric, um, also um, honey, um, um, asawaga, this stuff again, <laughs> I forgot the name of it, um, that, and some natural distilled water and now I am going to fill my molds here so here are my molds I'm just going to fill the individual molds here so I'm going to put them on this because I'm going to put them in the freezer something to slide them on the thing to take off once they are filled. So I'm going to put them here on my cutting board and then I'm going to fill them each individually. Now I have filled all of my molds. I still have some left over. I'm going to pour this into a separate container and I'm going to freeze that. So when I need some more, I'll just defrost it and, and um, make some more of my melts here. So I'm going to pop these into the freezer. I will show you what they look like once they're frozen and how I make the tea in another video. Thank you for watching and I look forward to sharing more of my homemade skincare and beauty tea um, recipes with you and thank you for watching. Bye.